Well, here we are at the start of Stage 7 in Long Beach with Jelly Belly rider Jeremy Powers. Jeremy, coming off of a strong cross season straight into Tour of California, did you ever get a chance to get any rest there, uh, maybe in January? I took, uh, I took maybe 10 days off my bike just to kind of give my legs a little bit of a break. But uh, for the most part, it's just trying to hold the fitness from the cyclocross cross season over till this race. But uh, after this, I'm actually going to get a couple, couple weeks off my bike. Yeah, glad to see you uh, here finishing the race. Talk to me a little bit about what the race has been like for you and also for the Jelly Belly team. Uh, our team's been, we've been just trying to, you know, it's so early for a U.S. team to get ready February. Uh, our season's really not, you know, Redlands is a goal and then onward after that and George is more of a, a something that we're looking for as a team. But I think that this uh, race is really good. I think guys that are racing here from U.S. teams are going to see at the, you know, come April and May and June of Philly week that it's, it's going to pay dividends because this race is such a high level with the Pro Tour teams. Uh, I think all the U.S. teams are in the same boat, and everyone's, at least on our team, is clicking really well. So I'm, I'm excited for the rest of the season after this, being February. From your vantage point in the peloton, what's been the most epic moment of racing thus far? Uh, probably when, probably when Jens went in the breakaway uh, stage. It's a four, I think, yeah. something like that. In the San Jose. Mm, yeah. That was pretty epic because I knew, I knew. We were hearing on the microphone and from the race radio how well he was going, and I just, I knew that was dangerous for Discovery at that point. Yeah. Have you, uh, have you seen uh, between Discovery and CSC? Has there been a little bit of a rivalry there, a little bit of a showdown? Absolutely. Yesterday was a throwdown, no question about it, by putting O'Grady in the breakaway. That was dangerous because uh, through the KOMs it was really hard, and then it was strung out single file for the entire last portion of the race, and uh, guys definitely felt the effects and sore legs last night. <laughs> Well, you got a, a few guys on the team here who could do something on the circuit today. Alex Candelario, yeah. uh, Andy Bajadali. What's going to be the sort of team strategy going into today? You know, I think for our team, uh, something like the most aggressive rider would be important. Uh, maybe, maybe to get in a breakaway and just get some television coverage. Just you know, the little things that end up making a team like ours stick all year. You know, just the small things. At this point, it's try to get Alex in the in the final, and for us, maybe a, a breakaway would be great. We'd be happy with that. Hey, well, good luck out there. Thanks for the time. Awesome, Neil. Thanks very much.